when I walked out the door, I was like, wow, is the world finna end? Because you couldn't see anything. It was just like water. It was like about six or seven foot of water. Well, you can hear screams. You can see like flashlights and people wondering like for help. And then he got the phone call from his friend, Keyshawn. He was, he was like, BJ, can you um, please come help me? You know we can't swim. I got air mattress in my room, so I might as well just take it. I grabbed his stepdad, his, his big sister, then he got another big sister, then her baby, then his little sister, and his mom, and his big brother. And we kept hearing, help, help. You know, I just couldn't believe it, you know, when I heard it. My sister called and told me, Virgil got this air mattress and rescued 17 people. I was just amazed. I really salute him, being a Desert Storm veteran myself. I really salute that kid. It's 2 o'clock in the morning, and down there, it's pitch black. You can't even see your hand in front of you. I don't know where he found the strength and the courage because someone would be really scared to do that. He's a very shy person, but he also is a warm-hearted person who help anyone. I was feeling proud. I was just so happy that he was able to save lives. We're all here to help someone. If it's just one person, Virgil helped 17. I felt pretty proud. It doesn't make any difference about how old you are. You can do great things. And you don't do it because you're trying to do a great thing. You do it because it's the right thing to do.